Hello, Serious Survivor here. And just a little bit of information this morning. It seems that 200 U.S. businesses have been hit by what's called a colossal ransomware attack, according to a cybersecurity firm. Huntress Labs said the hack targeted Florida-based IT company Kaseya before spreading through corporate networks that uses software. And that's one of the problems with the cloud software. Kaseya said in a statement on its own website that it was investigating a potential attack. Hunter Slab said it believed the Russia-linked R-E-Vil or R-Evil ransomware gang was responsible. Now, this was the same ones that perpetrated one of the most recent attacks that had some pretty serious effects here in the United States with the meat processing. The U.S. Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Agency, a federal agency, said in a statement that it was taking action to address the attack but wasn't specific about the details. The cyber breach emerged on Friday afternoon as companies across the U.S. were basically clocking off for the long Independence Day weekend. There are two big things that cybersecurity professionals are worried about right now, and these are not just ransomware attacks, but new supply chain attacks. This latest incident, it combines both of these situations into one big Independence Holiday weekend ruining event for hundreds of US IT teams. There are a lot of people right now that are back at work instead of having the weekend off to fight this cyber attack. And this instance is so important because we see here that the hackers showed a new tactic and that's by going after the software supplier of multiple organizations. And by doing this, then they can access dozens or possibly hundreds of victims in one big shot. And we've seen the supply chain attacks in the past, but this one has the potential to be the biggest in incident involving ransomware yet. And it shows that these gangs are evolving and they're thinking more creatively about how to have the largest impact and get the largest ransom with no concerns to the effects that it has on the general public and the average citizens. Kaseya said one of its applications that runs corporate servers, desktop computers, and network devices might have been compromised in the attack. The company said it was urging customers to use its security tool to immediately shut down all of their servers for all of the affected companies, and this can greatly impact a lot of people. Kaseya, the company that actually distributes the software and manages the service, indicated a small number of companies have been affected, though Huntress Labs, the ones who are defending the attack and the ones who are investigating it, said the number was greater than 200 right now. And it's not clear what specific companies have been affected yet. I guess we'll get some statements on that later today, hopefully, so we'll know what to expect in the coming days. If this is another supply chain issue, then it's gonna, we're going to see these prices, this inflation that's already going up, it's going to rise at a phenomenal rate at this point. Kaseya's website says it has a presence in over 10 countries and has more than 10,000 customers. And when it says it has 10,000 customers, it means 10,000 companies. So that's 10,000 companies that have the potential for being affected by this one hack that we're seeing that took place yesterday afternoon and is going into today. Mr. Biden said he gave Vladimir Putin a list of 16 critical infrastructure sectors from energy to water that should not be subject to hacking. I wonder if this was one of them. Our evil is one of the most prolific and profitable cyber criminal groups in the world. We know a lot about them. We know basically where they're operating at, but it's beginning to seem that we can do nothing to stop them. We can only react instead of be proactive. This was the same group that we mentioned before that the FBI claims was responsible for the JBS hack that basically took meat supply and put it on hold. The same group was also linked to a very well-coordinated attack on nearly two dozen local governments in Texas in 2019. We're seeing a rise of this, and earlier this month it wasn't really made that public, but China was also found responsible for an attack on the New York subway system, a cyber attack. So we're seeing not just an increase in these, and we just have a few days until the new cyber polygon, and they simulate a worldwide supply chain failure. It seems like we're seeing the practice run take place right now. Well, just a short video. Tune into the live stream tonight because we're going to talk a lot more about this. Thanks a lot for watching. God bless. And for now, Serious Survivor, out.